Now, actor Stephen Fry says Britain deludes itself about being a tolerant country and we shouldn't think we're better than America when it comes to racial prejudice. The actor said he was shocked and embarrassed when he realised he was a part of the problem because he's a progressive person who wasn't aware how easy it was for him and how unwelcoming the UK can be for black people. So, is Stephen Fry right? Is Britain deluded about racism? Well, to prove that we're not racist, the only black person on the panel is going to lead this discussion. <laughs> 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 I think um, there is some delusion in this country about racism, for sure. Cressida Dick said not long ago that the Met is not institutionally racist. President Dick. Cressida Dick. No, Cressida. Cressida, Cressida. Oh, oh, not, That's okay. a different, different show. Um, <laughs> it's OK. <laughs> that's a whole other subject. She was. Yeah. Yeah. But I did yeah. think you said President Dick. That's a yes, different exactly. show. Um, so <laughs> she's, she's completely wrong about the Met in my opinion. Um, so there is some delusion, but comparing Britain to the US is difficult, I think, because, for example, in the US, there are a large amount of black people there who are descendants of slavery. So with that comes the whole thing of your identity. Who am I? Where am I from, from really? Et cetera, et cetera. Whereas both my parents are from Africa, Nigeria, Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. So the mindset for me is already different to that of a black American, because I know mm -hmm. my history, I know my ancestry. Yeah. I can go back 500 years on both sides of the family and, and figure that out. But there's definitely racism in this country. Of course there is. It, and as there is in the US, but it's, it just feels different it's to how di it is. It's different. And I was brought up in Brixton, mm -hmm. which then, you know, was um, a, a very big community of people of colour that lived there, as yeah. well as whites. Mm -hmm. And there was never any trouble, never, ever. And it, it just seems that in America, when I, when I was being brought up at that time in the 60s, it would never have happened in the 60s in America. That would never have happened. The same as mixed race marriages here mm -hmm. were totally accepted. That would have never happened in those days in America. It just wouldn't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, I, I, yes, there's racism here. Of course there is. It's everywhere. Yeah. Mm. yeah. But it's, I'm sorry, it's not as bad and as America. And mm -hmm. also, we shouldn't compare ourselves to anybody else anyway. I mean, you know, the, 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 they always say, don't compare yourselves to others. There will always be greater and lesser people than you. I mean, yeah. you know, even, and so why should we be comparing ourselves yeah, to America? It's not culture. like for like. It's mm -hmm. a different yeah. culture. Yeah. What I would say is that we're very classist. I think that's, and that kind of make, muddies the water in some ways because actually the first thing you do, really, or a lot of people do anyway, is check where you, went, where, where you were brought up, where you come yeah. from, where what you went, school? what school you went to, mm -hmm. if you went to university, who you were at university with, and there's all those other things. And it kind of muddies the water, I think. Do you not agree? Yeah, yeah I'd agree with that. I find it interesting that when people say, are so proud of saying, we're not as racist as America. Yeah. <laughs> Still racist, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, this word tolerance that Stephen Fry spoke uh, so eloquently on uh, in the, the interview that he was doing. He said, you know, we like to think we're a tolerant society. I hate the word tolerance when it comes to race. Mm. To tolerate something, you tolerate a headache, you tolerate a sprained ankle, you shouldn't tolerate another human being. You need to accept and celebrate other exactly. cultures, not just tolerate exactly. it. That should not be the benchmark that you, we're reaching for. You do, but then on the other hand, how do you deal with things like whether it's nationalism and all these other things? That I mean, I, I have to say, I, I find the way Americans get really like, oh, USA, USA, I find that really uncomfortable. Mm. But on the other hand, I think it's important Me to too. be proud <laughs> of your, your country and your culture yeah, and all yeah. these things. And, uh, and I think we should also Stop wringing our hands over this sort of white privilege discussion that means that every kind of person, because everybody's experiences are different. Two two generations ago, my lot were over in Eastern Europe having a really difficult time. And when they came over to the UK, the UK wasn't exactly that Ooh. friendly towards them. Yeah. So, you know, and, and you know, we all have our own different uh, struggles and issues. And they, now, mm. I recognise, of course, that the skin colour has been particularly potent and we have real problems. I would, I would absolutely say that we have problems and issues within our nation and in, mm. indeed every country of, uh, between religions, between uh, races and backgrounds and, and as you say, class, all sorts of things. We have to learn more about other people in order to be able to, and it's not, uh, I think you're right, Nicola, to say <clears throat> tolerate, it's a terrible thing Horrible. to say. And this, is, this is part of the problem as well, I feel, like anti-Semitism. Stephen spoke about people of colour, but anti-Semitism is a massive problem in this country that gets completely overlooked yeah. because most Jewish people are white, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But actually, if you're Jewish, that is your race. I'm, that I'm telling you for <laughs> <laughs> It is a race, yeah. but, it's, um, but it's not accepted so in the world. But yeah. that's going off onto a whole other thing. But it's... Um, 
it seems insane to me to say that there isn't one country in the world that isn't racist mm -hmm. or against mm -hmm. some other religion. It's everywhere. We just have to learn to educate the kids and so that mm. we hope that the next generation yeah. will be more tolerant and accepting of... Uh, tolerant, not tolerant, though. It's actually <laughs> celebratory. Yes. yes. Celebratory. Yes.